So let me suggest that there's another way of thinking about this period in time. Not the end of history, but maybe the beginning of a history in which we all can participate more than has ever been the case in the past, where we can all be responsible for what happens. Not the clash of civilizations, but the acts of individuals. That's what might shape this century. Because never before have individuals from all walks of life had so much capability to do amazing things around the world. We're in a unique point in world history. That's one of the things that the Senator Susan and Sandy and Ron talked about. It, it intrigues us. It intrigues us that people have so much ability now. And I look around and I see a lot of this capacity is, remains potential. Potential capacity. And as long as people are parked in front of television sets, the fact that they have capacity doesn't mean much because those activities aren't affecting anything. And there are some people, of course, who have discovered that that capacity can be used to do horrible things, destructive things. But there's a tremendous number of people who are discovering that that capacity can be used to do tremendously creative things, exciting things, things that were never thought possible before. We can help people in ways that were never possible for ordinary people. You know, in the 20th century, most Americans never went outside their country. The single biggest group that did were soldiers in World War II. 11% of our population went overseas for the first time. And they were a window on the rest of the world. That's no longer the case. People can do remarkable, remarkable things. And that's what we're interested in.